Now, Dyer, obviously, uh, I'm sure you're, you're disappointed this morning, uh, disappointment for, for doing yesterday. How are you feeling after it? Yeah, sure. When you're, you don't show up, you, you won't win. Like, you know, we just weren't good enough. You, if you want to win, you have to do everything right. We didn't do we didn't do enough right in the last couple of months. Uh, you know, we weren't fit enough, we weren't strong enough. You know, we, we have a lot of, of deep thoughts to, to, and a lot of soul searching to do over the next couple of months. You know, to, Trying to get to the, the top of the table, like you know, it's, it's nearly a mental barrier now, as much as it is a physical and barrier, because you know we don't seem to get over that line. Like, you know, so Pash Swell and Camilla from the final, they're probably two best teams in the championship this year. You know, but they won't even in the games. Asik and they came from nowhere to, to, to get into the final. So, so Liberties and and the Dare we kind of sent themselves, geez, we could be in the final. So, they, I think the. The gap is closing as well between the top four and the rest. You know, it's getting very close. It's starting to get close, and maybe the championship will break into an eight, eight team championship maybe next year. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because you do look at the closeness of the the quarters, and then you look at the semi finals and and what's transpired. You look at the two teams in the final. You look at what way the inter county team is going, and now you look at the obviously the local championship, hugely competitive, probably one of the most competitive in the country. Oh yeah, the championship is the most competitive championship. It's like it's complete physicality. Like, it's, you know, it's it's different to you go and watch other club championships and it's open hurling. Whereas in Limerick, like you know, it's it's a very tough championship to win. Like any team that does come out of Limerick championship always does well in the Munster club and maybe even onto another in the club series. You know, and the standard has gone up an awful lot now in the last seven eight years. You know, because that's a lot of work going on in colleges and going on in schools and things like that. And it's come, you know. Lads are all competing each other against each other at them levels as well, so it's kind of it's crossing over then, you know. But it's it's good for Limerick hurling, like it bodes well, like you know. Even see Kildare coming up this year, the Premier Intermediate, they could easily have been in that semi finals. They're saying they're going to be a good club. They're going to come through now. It's like they have a very good under seventeen team this year as well. And they get a few of them lads in with the team that they have there in the senior. They they'll be in the top four or five in the next couple of years. Talking about about why we're here, the launch of the the back to back book, and obviously the fantastic memories and, and photos in it. They say that the, obviously the good teams win it, the great teams retain it. What do you make of that? Yeah, sure, look, we're not. I don't think we're looking back too much in it, and we want to be patting ourselves in the back about anything. Like, we just want to don't want to get our heads too big or anything like that. We just want to focus on what's ahead of us now. It's, it's nice for the supporters, and it's it's great for you know the locals, like for for the players, like we. You know, we'll enjoy ourselves over the next couple of weeks, take the time off and get back to the back to brass text and that is. You're looking at obviously a target on the back when you win it the first time coming into the next year, now two in a row. Do you think the target's getting even bigger? Uh, target's always big, you know. I suppose like it's always been big for this group of players, even since we were you know, back, go back to minor, like you know, we bridged a massive gap when we bet Tipperary in the minor semi final in 2013, I think that was kind of kick-started it all. You know, we won the 121 in 2015, then the boys won the 121 in 17. The belief came from there, like you know, and there's always been, we've always had that belief that we would, we would win anyway. We didn't care who we were playing or what we were playing or what was in front of us. We always had an inner belief that we would win, you know, and that, that stemmed from winning at an early stage. John Kiley and his backroom team obviously staying on for another two years at least. I'm sure you were happy to hear that news. Yeah, sure. I didn't think he was going to be going anywhere, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't think John has any plans of going anywhere. Like he's a Limerick man. They're all Limerick people, you know. So that's the great thing about it. You know? <laughs>